she was like, oh my god, I just want to shake it off with a hella good hair. And you say you don't care, she, cause the hair is gonna, oh. I'm recording. Don't blink, it's your boy Ink. Welcome to another video, welcome to another show. I hope you guys are doing well on this. Um, 26 September 2024. And as you can tell, we're reacting to Mr. Piana. Rich, first name, Piana. Last name, biggest motherfucker on the planet. I am in a good mood. I am excited. I am um, ecstatic on what I did camera, but I think I'm gonna prefer. I think, I think, I'm not sure. But I want to prefer the uh, camera, the mirror. I wanted to do a, um, <laughs> I wanted to do not behind the scene, but uh, my apologies. Sometimes it's good to see the behind the scene. So I, mean, I sometimes it had to the experience, wouldn't you say? Uh, my apologies. Let's read three comments. That's what we do in a reaction. We're reacting to day five, baby. Uh, right away, before I forget, I was a man before I couldn't stand. I. Will remember before I forget. In a good mood today, might be the uh, orange dream sickle. Good. Uh, did I say? Did I say play? No. Got to love rich education. No matter what you throw says, this guy is fucking real. Eight years ago, when he released that, I bet employees in shop and food joint get excited when they see rich. No time, more time to finish. <laughs> I'm a you. I'm on an old school rich piano bench best possible scenario. Who's with me? I am, my boy. I am. Without further ado, let's check it out. I'm excited. It's been a while. It's been like four days since we haven't reacted to it. Good morning. Day five. Yes. Yes, yes. And I'm telling you, man, I'm ready to add some more meals. I'm ready to train harder. I'm ready to do some more cardio. I'm ready to get this motherfucking party started. I'm like, like I don't want to wait. <laughs> I'm eating four meals right now, as you guys know, and I'm. I'm ready to fucking be eating eight, you know what I mean? But, you know, we gotta, gotta do things the right way. It's always weird how he doesn't have an intro. But then, um... Sorry, because we're filming Nature Corner at the same time. Um, it's always weird how he doesn't have an intro. But, uh, at the same time, I, I do like it because he wakes up, and you're about to wake up. And I said this before, I said this in... If it wasn't last episode, it was the one before. It's from morning to sleep. And this is what it should be a vlog. It's what it should be a daily vlog. And again, I know I said so, but let me reiterate the fact that Rich sold us a, sold this series as a getting big program. He sold this series as a working out program. But it's more so a vlog, and uh, I'm here for it. What the fuck is that? Oh, this is my camera. Okay. The way I have it planned out is the best possible fucking scenario, I guarantee it. And hopefully most of you are smart enough to understand the logic behind this program because sometimes I look at some of the questions and what people say and I'm like, wow, like I don't understand how people can't understand this whole logic behind this whole regimen. But And I get that, but you've been working out for two years, Rich, come on. You know, this is the best possible scenario putting on the most size. And uh, you know, you guys are gonna see. I've been I've been talking about this shit for fucking since mutant days. And uh, no one believes me, so that's why I decided to fuck it up. Mutant days, again, this is how, this is how I discovered Rich Piana. So the mutant day was, um, they sponsor him. And you can see now with Primes, you can see now with USC, they make athletes out of them. So mutants, like, okay, well, we're going to sponsor you, we want you to represent mutants. So Rich would do videos about him working out, Rich would do videos of day off. You can see him in our shopping center. The guy's a big motherfucker. And the mutant day is technically how a lot of people discover Rich. Um, and to me, that was perfection. That was mutant day where if you can, if you can, if you give a shit about Rich Piana, if you give a shit about Day Here by the Day, do watch those mutant videos. They're, they're incredible. They're, they're, they're so unique. Like, this is good. This is really good. Would I watch that before Mutant Day? No. Would I watch Rich? Would I give a shit about Rich before Mutant Day? No. I'm just gonna show people. You know, I'll get to 305 and then maybe I'll do this shit again. Maybe I'll get to 340, you know what I mean? And just, you know, eventually people will be like, okay, now I believe this shit. <laughs> now, no, now I see this shit, now I believe it. Anyway, um, so I'm adding Proviron. Imagine being this size and thinking that you have to prove yourself. The mix, Proviron is not a steroid for people that don't know that. Ooh. It's an androgen. By the way, there's a change to this pl the playlist. You see those drugs? They got me a signal on TikTok. So I'm gonna be able to put this on YouTube and not TikTok, sorry. But not a steroid. So um, add that to the mix. Uh. 
and uh, the people out there, uh, you know, there's been a couple videos made, and you know, people giving their opinion on my cycle, and you know, I'm gonna die, uh, whatever, you know, whatever. It's it's to me, it's nice because yes, Rich was using a lot of roids. There was some. I remember those days where there was video where they was pointing fingers at Rich, and it's more so about hey. Um, it is pointing finger. That's clickbait for his use. There's this guy ca called Greg Doucet, and I don't like him. I think he's a. I, I think he, he, he takes advantage of people. And we saw Sam Sulek. Sam Sulek, who is more recent. Rich Piana, in my art, is still very relevant. Sam is more relevant because is Sam as popular as Rich? No. Is Sam a celebrity like Rich? No. Is Sam popular right now because it's very relevant absolutely and people are saying this cycle is gonna die is gonna die is gonna die and even with Nicocado Avocado which is a mukbanger which gained a lot of weight you can say gonna die so this is all clickbait and it's kind of cool to see a video talking about this eight years ago it's nothing new it's nothing <laughs> not gonna stop tomorrow it's part of life it is gonna hate um but I don't have any steroids in my house now I would not be dumb enough to be talking about this shit to everyone in the world on YouTube and have shit in my house. You know what I'm saying? So I am very safeguarded and, you know, in being careful in the way I'm going about this. So just to let everyone know, the people that keep saying, oh, he's stupid. Why would he are? Well, there ain't no shit in my house. You know what I mean? So I'm being safe about this shit. I am taking steroids, but I don't. The, the, the um, fuck. I love Rich. I gotta say that. But the problem isn't if they're in your house. The problem is you're. You're actively promoting the usage of roids. That's not good. Keep shit in my house, you know? So anyway, uh, my apologies. today's workout, I'm uh, going to be driving apologies. to Metroflex, Long Beach, and I'm excited. I'm going to be training with a fucking monster today, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and uh, anyone who goes to Metroflex in Long Beach or has ever visited or been there, you've probably seen this guy, and you've probably wondered, been curious about him. He doesn't really talk to anyone. You kind of see him in the foreground, background, you know, you kind of see him walking around and um, he's a mystery. And you know, I've been in Metroflex probably over 20 times. And uh... the reason why, well, not necessarily the only reason, but you're gonna see Rich talking to a lot of bodybuilders. You're gonna be seeing Rich talking to a lot of people that are bodybuilding. You're gonna see a lot, Rich talk to a lot of people, to talk about a lot of big guys. And the reality is, um, just like in the Mutant Day, he has his own brand of supplement, which is the One Day You May 5150, um, real food, real egg white, real meal. Right? Um, this is all his. And uh, he's, he's looking for people to promote that shit. So he's always going to be looking for the biggest motherfucker. And the thing with Rich that I really am grateful for is... Like, for example, right? And I'm not talking shit. You're going to see a lot of people who do, who's doing vlogs. And they're just doing vlogs. There's going to be a lot of people who are doing vlogs and have business, um, business shit in the background. And uh, that's, they're hiding that, right? I mean, Rich is like, no, no, no. I'm here to do vlogs. I'm doing this for free. I'm promoting my brand. And at the end of the day, well, I'm a businessman. Love that. I usually see him there. So I finally, you know, hit this guy up and said, hey, man, let's fucking train. Let's do some videos, you know? What's your story? And, uh, you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a fucking monster. So I'm excited to train with him. So that's going to be fun. We're, gonna, we're doing an easy workout, though. As you guys know, we're hitting calves and forearms. Because I don't like taking days off, you know? So I just keep going. So it's going to be a little, this is kind of like a little break for the body, in my opinion. Two small, small muscles. But two very important muscles. Calves and forearms... As you guys know, you know, people neglect the fuck out of them. You know, there's so many weak calves and definitely weak forearms walking around. It's the forearm is, is very specific because if you don't have big bicep, your forearm doesn't have to be um, big. But you can see with Rich Brianna, which is a big motherfucker, his biceps are huge. And it's very weird um, that you have big bicep and small forearm. It's like Popeye. So if you look at me now, I'm not, I'm not as big as Rich, but I still have some good forearm. I have to get looking up. I'm scrawny, dude. Those are those are two very important muscles, and um, so we're gonna hit them. And for calves, we're gonna do standing calf raises, um, five sets. Uh, calves, I, I like to go heavier because I feel like we walk around all day long on our calves. So our calves are very stubborn muscles. They're constantly lifting our body weight all day long. So you really have to hit heavy weight, in my opinion, to really make them grow. Um, so standing calf raises, 
Then we're gonna do, uh, it's like an inverted donkey, uh, donkey machine, donkey cab race machine. So you're in the same position as the donkey cab race, but you're actually sitting up. I'm sure you guys have seen the machine before. A lot of gyms have it. Um, if they don't have the machine. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, bro. Machine, you can use the donkey cab race instead. It's pretty much very similar. It just gives you a deep stretch at the bottom. Uh, five sets, um, heavy weight. You know, I start at 20 reps. I go all the way down to eight to 10 reps. And uh, the third exercise is seated cab raises. And seated cab raises is really the only cab exercise that really works the soleus. The soleus is the thick muscle that's right under the calf. And uh, it's crazy because, you know, the soleus is an important muscle. And when you look at someone's calves, if they have an underdeveloped soleus or overdeveloped soleus, it just doesn't look right, you know? So it's something to keep in mind. So if someone that's doing seated cab raises all the time, they can overdevelop their soleus and make their actual calf muscle look small. And I see that a lot. Um, or the other way around is you never do seated cab raises. You could actually have really nice calves and have no soleus, you know? And It's interesting, but this is for like people that are really trying to achieve this physique. For a normal person, and I guarantee you that most of the people that are watching this, just trying people trying to get in shape, and all of this is fucking gibberish, which is, which is a bit of a problem of content creation. For example, if you if you're specific and this one genre, are you actively trying and trying and trying to be the biggest motherfucker, or are you trying to be like, hey, uh, my apologies, my apologies. Are you trying to be the biggest motherfucker or you're just trying to be it? And if you're trying to be the biggest motherfucker, this is interesting. But um, if, you're, if you're not, you're like, this is not interesting. So when I make a videos, I have to be aware of my demographic. Are my demographic normal people who just want to get big or my demographics are literal bodybuilder? And to be honest, I doubt, and I'm not, I'm saying this out of respect. I'm not thinking, I don't think a lot of bodybuilder would watch this because they're an older shit. Um, I'm saying um, people that wanted to get into bodybuilding would get into that shit. For example, Sam Sulek, which is the best example. But Sam Sulek, when you watch him, you can clearly see the Rich Piana. Uh, you can clearly see the Rich Piana influence. But how many people do you see nowadays that you can see the Rich Piana influence? Compared to Z's, Z's was the person who um, inspired David Lay, Connor Murphy. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alex Eubanks. And those trees are huge. That could cause injury and so on and so forth. You want to keep those muscles balanced. So after seated calves, we're going to be going over to forearms. And at Metroflex, they have actually some forearm machines, which I don't know any other gym that actually has machines specifically developed for forearms. So that's uh, it's going to be awesome. you know. And I've never actually used a lot of the machines there, so I've just seen them. So um, it's, it's going to be interesting. So what I did is, I did four exercises for forearms. And the first two I do, most gyms, you're not gonna be able to do it. It's just not gonna, the facility's not gonna have these machines. So um, that's why I did four. The first two exercises, and then the second two, I just did your normal wrist curls. You know, wrist curls behind the back with the barbell, and uh, seated wrist curls, you know, curling it up on your knee. So, uh, so that'll be the forearms. If you guys have the machines, or you have something similar, where you can, you know, basically do a similar exercise to what I did, then great. But the two form exercises, you know, at the end of the workout are plenty for forearms. Um, same thing, five sets. Um, I start with 30 reps, all the way down to, you know, 16 reps. I keep the reps pretty high uh, when hitting the forearms. And um, also when I hit biceps, you know, I do the hammer curls, I do reverse curls. So I hit the top of the forearms pretty heavily when I train biceps. So my forearms are getting two workouts a week. And then of course, when I train back, I never use straps. Now you can get a million times better back workout using straps. If you are a bodybuilder and you are in this sport to build an incredible fucking back, then use straps. It's, there's no comparison of being able to feel the back work and get a much better intense back workout when using straps. And I use straps for years. But I'm, you know, I enjoy having insane grip strength. I'm a really big believer in grip strength. So for me, um, it got to the point where I relied on the straps. I could not lift the weight without the straps. My hands were not strong enough to lift the weight I could lift with my back. So if I forgot my straps at home or a strap. Like I said, you, you kind of see me not reacting a lot. You kind of see me not, not bored, but close to being bored for the simple reason that is very specific. This is very specific to Rich Piana. And the fact that you know your body, this is amazing, bro. The fact that not everybody has the same body. Not everybody has the same limitation. Not everybody did the same workout that you did. Not everybody has the same physiology. Is You're putting yourself in a position where it's not super entertaining. It's not super interesting. And I don't want to skip that because I will never be able to give you advice like that. 
I will never be able to give you advice like E does about your body as much as E does. But at the same time, well, I believe that most of these are all the way down to eight to ten reps. Incredibly important? No. And I'm sorry to say, they're just not. I'm sorry. You can hate me, you can like me, I don't care. It's complicated. And uh, the third exercise is seated cab raises. And seated cab raises is really the only cab exercise that really works the soleus. The soleus is the thick muscle that's right under the calf. And uh, it's crazy because, you know, the soleus is an important muscle. And when you look at someone's calves, if they have an underdeveloped soleus or overdeveloped soleus, it just doesn't look right, you know? So it's something to keep in mind. So someone that's doing seated What I'm trying to say is very specific and not everybody that's specific cab raises all the time, they can overdevelop their soleus and make their actual cab muscle look small, and I see that a lot. Um, or the other way around is you never do seated cab raises, you could actually have really nice calves and have no soleus, you know, and that could cause injury and so on and so forth. You want to keep those muscles balanced. So after seated calves, we're going to be going over to forearms, and at Metroflex, they have actually some forearm machines, which I don't know any other gym that actually has machines. We watch that. I did four exercises before pulling it up on your knee. So, uh, so that'll be the forearms. If you guys have the machines or you have something similar where you can, you know, basically do a similar exercise to what I did, then great. But the two form exercises, you know, at the end of the workout are plenty for forms. Uh, same thing, like. five sets. Um, I start with 30 reps all the way down to, you know, 16 reps. I keep the reps pretty high uh, when hitting the forearms. And um, also when I hit biceps, you know, I do the hammer curls, I do reverse curls. So I hit the top of the forearms pretty heavily when I train biceps. So my forearms are getting two workouts a week. And then, of course, when I train back, I never use straps. Now, you can get a million times better back workout using straps. If you are a bodybuilder and you are in this sport to build an incredible fucking back, then use straps. It's, there's yeah, no sorry, comparison guys, to the point you know, I guess it's I I'm so sorry. We are on our way to Metroflex. You know? It's so important to me. It, 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 again, I, I have to make a stance. I have to make a statement. And I do love Rich P and I'm not trying to be rude with him. But I'm reacting to content oh, again. This is such bullshit. But the reason why we're here is because we need a light. I could go in. Wanna go in? Okay, let's go in. Um, I'm being so. Sp I feel like an asshole because I'm skipping. But at the same time, I will never use this. Most of the content that we were reacting to is content that's meaningful to me, and this is not meaningful to me. Not because I don't, I'm, I don't give a fuck about what he says, not because it's not meaningful at all, it's just not pertinent to me, so I'm not gonna watch it. And it's like watching my issue with this, and again, I know this is not my video, but I know this is reaction, not my video, but I have to talk about it. <laughs> I am not reacting to this for the fact of reacting. I'm reacting to this because I want to lose weight and this is a guy I trust. Now, uh, should I be reacting to the whole thing? Yes. Should I be um, giving a shit about the whole thing? Yes. Am I only going to react to videos that I that are important to me? No. But I just can't. I just can't be fake. I just can't not be genuine about my reaction. That was not interesting to me. And I'm reacting to people think that they're interesting. On beach, and the traffic is completely fucking stopped. <laughs> like, we're just sitting here, not going anywhere. Awful. <clears throat> and Ugh. we are not even on the 405. We're on the 5 freeway. And uh, we've just been sitting here for, what, 30 minutes, babe? Just sitting? It feels like forever. <laughs> so it's like here he has a dermal, and I got a dermal thanks to him. So, uh... You know, I guess it's time to eat, right? Time to eat. So, oh my fucking god, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, I guess this program is Christ, is working. I guess I'm getting stronger. Yeah, fuck. That's Jeez. the only fucking fork I have, babe. Can you reach that down there? I, I have on a fork. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah. cool. God damn. It's here somewhere. I'm... It's here somewhere? Yeah. I can probably reach this shit right here. <laughs> oh. That's part of life. You see, this is interesting. Whatever it takes, I love that shirt. Oh, I got you it. I got it, babe. I'm good. I don't even know my own strength. <laughs> now you have a small less fork. So this is meal number two for me. And uh... actually, this is a good representation of what's going on. 
Like, I'm stuck in traffic. Do I pick up the camera? Am I able to be interesting if I'm stuck in traffic? Should I pick up the camera? Should I not pick it up? See, it's all a question that you should ask yourself. I, I know for myself, I would have something to talk about uh, while in traffic. I don't, I don't think it's the same thing for everybody. And it shouldn't be the same thing. It doesn't have to be the same thing for everybody. But being able and being able to say, hey, guess what? I'm able to do it. I, I do, I, I'm stuck in a feeling of feeling guilty about skipping, but uh, at, at core value, a lot of people are seeing him fucking traffic and will skip. A lot of people will see the training part and be like, ugh. So I'm a little, my schedule's a little different. I haven't trained yet today. Uh, we're heading to Metroflex. Um, we're gonna be training with a badass motherfucker. <laughs> and? All I like to say is this guy, this guy's over 300 pounds. He's been doing uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu his whole life. Um, he's related to the Gracies. Strong as fuck. And uh, I know, you know, he's, uh, he's bodyguard. All kinds of famous people. Um, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be some. Rishi, you trying to UFC. Badass fucking video. I know that for sure. We're probably gonna get some, uh, just some uh, good workout footage, little MMA footage, and, uh, and interview him, because, uh, I want to pick his brain. I'm very curious to know about this individual. So it's going to be some good ass shit. I'm looking forward to it. And then. I, I don't remember if he hired him. I remember the guy he's talking about, but I don't remember if he hired him. I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to train with him, babe, or train with you guys. Because you have. Uh, Sarah has her girlfriend in town from uh, Florida. Yep. Lisa. Lisa. She's going to meet us there. So, you know. Well, I like training with girls. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> that's your that's probably your best body part, yeah? Yeah, I, I barely need to work out. Barely need to train back. Genetically speaking, you're gonna have one body part that is stronger than others. Yeah, you don't really need to, your back is fucking crazy. Crazy. Yeah, okay. So you can have some of my back and I'll have some of your shoulders. For sure. And I'll have your ass too. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about my ass? <laughs> You're the one with the ass. Ooh. You're all ass. See, a lot of the thing that he's gonna do is scripted. You can hear him say action. You can see, see him cutting. You can see him editing. And then there's moments like this where it's just a couple. And that's why I really enjoy the nightly run. You don't plan that shit. You plan the content, which is bodybuilding. But the nightly run are just out of the black. They're... And this is where you need to be yourself, and this is the most entertaining. I care about Rich Piana as a bodybuilder, but I care about him as a role model more. I love your ass. Why are you going to go talk about your fucking ass now? Now you got me all fucked up. I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the traffic is definitely making us cray cray. We've been here for like the same spot for like fucking forever. God damn it. Love that Sarah. Check this shit out. We are. I love that Sarah is actually talking. Remember episode one, which wasn't? Feels feels refreshing. We are fucking driving down the middle wow. of the fucking lake. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at this shit. Can't be good for the car. Now, and that's the. This is the five freeway. So we waited for an hour. To yes. cross the fucking lake, and that shit was fucking deep. But uh, now we're on our fucking way. Look, there's no traffic, man. No traffic. No traffic. Jesus Christ. And we were there stuck for a second. Stuck on the same spot for an hour. The higher patrol was just letting one car go at a time. So they would stop, let one car go slow until it gets all the way across, and then the next car goes. See, and to a vlog that is that is not interesting but in real life how often does this should happen and if it does happen are you capturing it or not or just letting slip m and m you know so shit you know. i'm gonna have to eat again before i trade <laughs> luckily luckily i brought another meal so i'm prepared it's like i turned over a new leaf and uh at this point, I think he's cheating. I don't think he's eating four meal. I think he's eating way more than four meal because he was stuck for an hour and said, hey, I need another meal. And you just had one. So you're eating four meals a day, but that doesn't make sense. This, this program that I'm doing, I'm telling you guys, 
is helping me tremendously. So you know, everyone's thanking me and saying it's great what I'm doing, you know, I'm giving out free information, you know. But it's honestly helping me a lot and it's getting me back on track and it feels really good because, you know, I've been really good as far as work and, you know, that kind of stuff on track, you know, giving it all I got, working 16 hours a day. But as far as taking care of myself, you know, I... <laughs> The working 16 hours a day until you're a content creator, you don't realize it, but it's all the behind the scene. You can film for three hours, but you have to edit. You have to, you have to make sure that you answer every comment. You have to make sure that you're, you're on top of your game. You have to make sure that you know the news for tomorrow to set up to talk about. It's, that's the, that's the thing. For example, I'm going to watch a movie and that movie isn't working in itself, but you have to do a review of the movie. So you have to take notes and that's working. It slipped up big time. Work out, you know, maybe an hour, hour and a half. Was eating like maybe three meals a day. Um, you know, just uh, not doing any cardio. You know, just luckily my genetics are pretty decent, so I can get away with a lot. But my genetics are nowhere near as good as Sarah's. That's a compliment, babe. Well, thank you. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm here at Metroflex Long Beach. Alex and Sarah, and we're about to kill some shit, right? <laughs> uh, how are you feeling today? I feel good. I sparred last night. Or <laughs> it's always something, right? Good. Yeah, you know, MMA and weights do not fucking go hand in hand, right? That's right. I mean, it's hard. You know, you're always getting injured. You come in here, you gotta be careful not to tear something. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I I know that for sure. So, anyway, all right, let's fucking let's do it. The big I thought it was gonna be an interview, but I guess that's it. Big man's in the house. <laughs> Love that they just start talking and he, uh, I wish I would give him a kill at church. For arm? Oh. Wait, so no, um. So, you guys have no idea what a motherfucking nightmare it's been filming these videos and I have not fucking given up. Everything has happened. The compressor's fucked up on the computer. Final Cut wouldn't save the videos. Um, just, I've had every problem you can fucking imagine. Um, you know, they wanted me to delete I had everything. When the, the disc was full, I had to delete a bunch of footage. I ended up deleting the wrong footage. Then we stayed up all night. Sarah figured out how to fucking get the footage I deleted out of the fucking trash and back into the... Oh, my God. So, it has been a nightmare. We have been up three days straight. I am not fucking joking. I have not been sleeping. You can probably see I look like fuck. It's, it's, it's nice to see this because... It, like, I, myself. Myself. When I start making content... And I, I could tell the same thing for Rich. Is... When you start making content, you won't care about making the content. Nobody's gonna pick up a camera. Nobody's gonna start to pick up a camera and say, hey, I'm all gonna have to film. I'm not gonna have to do the behind the scene. I'm not gonna have to edit that shit. I don't think it's gonna be that hard. You only think about making that content, but it's what's included in the content. In Rich, it's kind of funny because, again, not talking shit, I like the guy, but uh, motherfucker was out there uh, thinking about the plan, thinking about the training, thinking about, hey, should I talk about this? I'm going to have some new guys. I'm, I I'm going to do this and this and this. Motherfucker didn't spend a second thinking about the, the editing process, but here you are. Shit. Um, you know, and I just want to say I haven't, we haven't fucking given up. We've been fucking just working nonstop. And it, it's not that we have so much work. It's because everything's gone wrong. And it's like the fucking universe is against us on this project. And the universe is going to fucking lose, <laughs> motherfucker. So, um, you know, right now we're going to the mall. And I'm just going to buy a new fucking computer, you know, get new Final Cut, new Premiere, you know, whatever the fuck. I'm just going to get all new fresh shit. You know, and I'm gonna take a fucking baseball bat to the other computer and I should probably do it on fucking camera and fucking break it in a million fucking pieces because it has totally fucked our lives up in the last three days. But I love that he's thinking on his about making content. For example, you're gonna you, you, you when you start doing content your mind is turned on to be doing content. Um yeah, not that I haven't worked in five months. If I haven't worked in five months, a lot of the videos were made without me thinking about it. It's just you're doing this video and then you think about another subject. And I love that. I love that processes of, I'm starting here, I have to end here, there's another way, there's another way, and that's the way it goes. The good news is, we did not fucking give up. We stayed up all goddamn night. And when those videos come out at fucking 11 a.m., it's not because I'm fucking around, it's because we were up all night, and still up, and it's 6, 7, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., and the fucking video, we're, we still don't have the computer fixed, still can't figure out the problem. And so we're stressing our fucking, stressing out of our minds, trying to fix the problem and you know and that's why the video has been late so it's just it's, it's all just everything has gone wrong so i'm just gonna buy a new computer and uh 
You shouldn't blame yourself, though. It happens. New final cut, you know, and the mall's about to close right now, so, you know, it's late. You know, we haven't even, there's so much we still have to do for tomorrow's video, you know, um, but, you know, here we are, and I'm probably going to be up all night tonight. See, this, to me, this is interesting. This, to me, a lot of people won't care about that, and it's kind of, it's kind of telling of the situation. When you talk about the, the, the muscle group and how it shows and blah, 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 I'm not interested. I want content creation, this is it. The tiring part of content creation isn't even the day of. It's like, I have this shit planned for tomorrow. Am I going to be okay? And most of the time, you're not going to be okay. And it's the long days. It's fucking long days. I, and also, I'm supposed to film tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. at Gold's Venice. And, you know, it's just fucking nonstop. So I'm working out with no sleep. You know, you can't grow without sleep. And, you know, that's that's really fucking important is sleep is sleep is we have this guy right gsp georges Saint pierre who is one of the Kine uh, quebec national treasure he was huge on ufc he was humongous that guy that guy was he was the first French Canadian to go in UFC. It put us on the map when it comes to combat sport, right? And GSP was um, GSP had a lot of issue mentally. He was OCD. He was there was a lot of things that was wrong with that guy. I'm not being mean. I'm just saying the truth. A guy would work, 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 work out, and uh, the craziest thing happened. He stopped working out. He started enjoying life, and uh, for for months and months and months, he grew bigger because he slept. Like, I don't understand. I don't, I don't work out. Well, motherfucker, you haven't slept a good night's sleep in years, so that's what he does. It's probably just as, if not more important than the training itself and the eating because your muscles grow when you sleep. So if you don't sleep, you're not going to fucking grow. So, you know, this is not working out the way it's supposed to be working out for me as far as me putting on my motherfucking body weight. And, you know, I hope it's working for everyone else. I hope everyone else is fucking putting on size. But if I'm not sleeping, my muscles aren't growing my body's not recuperating you know what i mean then i'm not getting the results i desire so hopefully i get this shit in order and can start getting some goddamn sleep jeez need some new fucking windshield wipers fuck all right so when i go to the mall i think you guys already know this about me i don't i i, I he doesn't, he's not gonna park he's gonna park in front of the store and even if he gets a ticket it's worth it for him because he doesn't lose time in the store saw that shit a million times I don't, I don't fucking, I, I park wherever the fuck I want when I go anywhere, and I just take my chances, you know, I gather tickets, I get tickets, I fucking, I have tickets, like, every week I have a couple tickets, because I just park in front of everywhere, I don't care, I don't have time to, to deal with parking and walking and fucking people dinging my car and shit. Yep, so that's where I park, right in front. Right in front, every fucking time, <laughs> anywhere I go, that's, and I'm no. sure you guys have seen my videos, you know, fuck it, I don't give a fuck, I'll pay that $200, $100 where the ticket is, it, for me, it's worth it to have the convenience of, you know, just Not having to walk home. Right, exactly, <laughs> fuck this shit. <laughs> Let's do it, baby. Yep. A little little uh, promotion for, for Apple. Anything, I don't know much about a computer, but I would guess for anything, Apple is pretty much a shit. 16, 17, 18. Oh, shit, babe. <laughs> Oh, oh, Ben and Jerry's. Oh, shit. We are in trouble. This is where we get the fucking shit you can't get in the store. The special shit. <laughs> I sure hope they have cinnamon buns. Alright, guys, I found it. Cinnamon buns. <laughs> Sarah was really sweet in those videos. I, I don't like who she became. I don't like what happened again and again and again. And I see it in this whole video, but she was really sweet. Him, babe. Yeah. It's over there. Cinnamon buns. Woohoo. Give me a fuck. <laughs> Yeah. And nothing give a fuck. Uh, me. Wait, where is it? Okay. <laughs> Can we get a quart of half the coconut seven layer? The quart, you said? Yeah. Hey, can you do that side by side? Is that possible? Um, I try, but it's not good enough. It's usually stacked like on the other. Uh-huh. So, I, I can... I can hear you, girl. Try to do it side by side, but I'm not going to hear you. Okay. okay. That's what's up, babe. Yeah, and the other half, I'm going to do um, sweet cream and cookies. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Can I do with Jimmy Fallon? And here are mine. Yay. No ticket. Woohoo. Thank God. I think that lane is for taxi, though. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm just eating, eating another fucking meal. <laughs> I love it.
Uh, Sarah's putting the new computer together because I don't know shit. They didn't do. They didn't go to the Abbots. Yep, here's the old one. About this shit. Here's the new one. So we gotta get this shit going, and uh, it's getting late, and I still gotta fucking. We gotta go get something to eat somewhere else, right? We gotta mm -hmm. fucking. We gonna be up all night. It's gonna be all nighter. And then we gotta film at Venice Gold tomorrow at six a.m. But my guy's eating. He's eating a meal, and it's like thinking about the next meal. Um, fucking crazy. Non stop, but once this hopefully, once this computer is fucking hooked up, yeah, we'll be good to go. Once shit, once shit's good to go, it's no problem. Mm -hmm. Why the hula hoop? Don't ask me, dude. We're getting ready to add some more food, too. I'm getting ready to put another fifth meal in any day now. We'll be adding the fifth meal, and uh, you know, it's just gonna get interesting. <laughs> I have a feeling everyone doing this motherfucking program is gonna be. Fucking dropping out, not gonna be able to hang with the big with the big dogs. But we'll see. We'll see who hangs in there. You know, I don't have a choice. My shit's my shit's on film, so I got to hang in there. I got everyone. It's actually risky because when people drop, they're not gonna watch the video anymore. I didn't think about that. They're be watching me, so I have to get to over three hundred pounds. You know, and I want to, so it don't matter. Man, those feeder workouts are kicking my fucking ass. Uh, you know. I'm telling you, the arms is not as hard as the shoulders. <laughs> I'll tell you guys that right now. The feet workout for the arms is not as bad, at least not for me. Man, them shoulders, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm gonna fucking die. But man, the pump is insane. And uh, I'm sure you guys are noticing that, you know, you might be sore a little bit, you know, the first couple of days, but after, you know, after a couple of days, you shouldn't be getting sore. You know, you shouldn't get sore at all from them. You know, just just blowing up, blowing those shoulders up. And I, I can guarantee fucking tea, Within a couple weeks, you guys are gonna notice the shoulders getting bigger, rounder, and fuller. I'm telling you this shit, to keep with the fucking feeder workouts. No matter how hard it is, it's worth it. Trust me. Okay. And uh, we're doing two months, and then we're gonna do two months of arms. And uh, you know, the, the arms is much easier, and uh, your arms are gonna grow like crazy. And there is no other better way to bring a body part up. I can guarantee you that, uh, 100%. So <clears throat> I'm getting ready to hit the sack here. Uh, another fucking busy day. Um, you know, I'm going to sleep for about an hour and 10 minutes and then I got to get up, go to Gold's Venice, 6 a.m. I have to be there. Somebody's have to leave the house at about 4.45. Maybe, maybe, I can maybe leave at 5. Traffic doesn't really start hitting until about 5.30, so I'll probably be okay. And, uh, you know, fucking kill it. Got to, you know, just non-fucking stop. But, you know, I love this shit. And now, you know, you know you got motherfucking problems when you're matching your fucking pre-workout with your fucking hat. <laughs> you got some motherfucking... I was going to say something, but I was like, maybe it's a coincidence. Problems. I figured out that, uh... That the blue raspberry mixed with a lemon lime gives you a fucking nice fucking bright green Me. color. So uh, guys look at this and wonder what the fuck flavor is that? I've never seen that flavor before. Well, it's fucking blue raspberry mixed with lemon lime. <laughs> so <laughs> I got fucking problems. <laughs> at least I can admit that shit. Um, anyway, guys, so I'm gonna hit the sack and uh, it's endearing, you know. It's a, it's a human being. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be day six. Oh, real recap. Let me give you a recap on tomorrow, day six. Day six, we're starting over on the cycle. But it's going to be back, right? Not back in triceps. It's going to be back by itself. Because like I told you before, we're fucking, every day is different. We are not going to be doing the same fucking routine every day, you know. Chest on Monday, back on Tuesday, and shoulders on, you know, it's not going to be that shit. It's going to be, every fucking day is going to be different. Every week is going to be different. I'm going to be mixing up the body parts, confusing the body. And uh, I'm telling you, that's, that's, what, that's what it takes. And that's what works, is confusing the body. So uh, tomorrow's going to be back all by itself. And keep doing those vacuums. Even though I'm not showing you, I'm doing them. I'm fucking doing this program, everything. So even though you don't see me doing Tattoo wise, you can tell, you can actually tell the, um, the ants tattoo are more recent because look at the decoloration. You can clearly see it. You guys need to be doing them. I can't, I don't want to show you guys a video of me doing the same shit every single day. I'm going to bore the fuck out of you. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it, you know, as interesting as possible. Mm -hmm. So anyway, guys, have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. As we do when we film some reaction, when the video ends, we end. Have a nice evening. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy. Peace.